Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 2022 Incarnation Daily Devotion. I'm Pastor CJ, and hopefully this devotion may lead you to listen to the Word of God this morning and let your heart be focused on God every day. May 27th, Friday, Acts chapter 1, verses 1 through 11. In the first book, Theopolis, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up to heaven, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he says, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up toward heaven. Suddenly, two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Amen. Let's stay with the story of the Ascension one more day. Why? Because Luke does. He ends the Gospel of Luke with the story of the Ascension and then tells the story again as the beginning of Acts. Why does he tell and then retell this moment in the life of Jesus and his followers? I think Luke decides to tell the story of the Ascension twice because it's an absolutely crucial moment, a leadership transition moment. Here we find the passing of the church plant off to the second pastor. I know something of moments like this because I'm a second pastor. I follow the founding pastor of Sycamore Creek. The church went from having a grandma as their pastor to having a 33-year-old who didn't even have any kids as their pastor. That's a whiffplash moment for any church, even a strong one. These moments are important because being off by even a small amount can lead to really challenging events over time. If a rocket heading to the moon is off course by one degree, then it will miss it by over 4,000 miles. Transitions and new beginnings are that important. There are at least two things that are essential to get right at this moment in Luke's story. The mission and power of the church. First, the followers of Jesus have to decide whether they will focus on themselves and restore the kingdom to Israel, or whether they will be a community focused outward to the world around them. Second, they must be empowered to accomplish their mission by the Holy Spirit. During moments of transition, be sure to get those two things right. Otherwise, you might be off by more than 4,000 miles. Let's pray. God, thank you for giving us this wonderful opportunity to remind where we are. So, Lord, you gave us this precious second chance to revive, to revitalize. 
So, Lord, be with us. And also let us wait for the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. And also focus and follow the exact guideline of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining this morning, and I hope to meet you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.